Ladies and gentlemen, Michael Palmisano here. Hope you are having an excellent day. So, very cool thing happened not too long ago. Uh, I connected with Eric Weinstein uh, over uh, DMs on Instagram. By the way, please give me a follow over at uh, at GuitarGate uh, on my Instagram. And uh, I've been a fan of Eric's for a long time. When I'm on the internet and I'm consuming content, if you will, uh, it's long form. Uh, it's long form podcasts, it's interviews, it's intellectual deep dives. Like that's uh, that and cooking shows, basically, is, is basically what I watch. Um, and so when I found out that Eric knew who I was and watched my channel, I was completely floored. So he shoots me. So, I, so, so, so I'm about to go out to California and we are actually going to do a, uh, like a podcast together, like a video cast. So he, he, he floated this idea with me. Uh, and if you guys aren't familiar with Eric, just, just search him, search him with Joe Rogan, search just his, his podcast called the portal. I'll put a link in the description. Um, super fascinating guy. Um, and so he floated this idea by me. He said, hey, listen, you know, you guys on YouTube, you all interview each other and other famous musicians, but how cool would it be if you showcased people that no one knows that they play? Like professional people, interesting people, famous people, politicians, because we're everywhere. You know, us music people are everywhere. And I was like, dude, that is such a great idea. Sold, can we start with you? He said, yes. So I'm going out for Nam. Uh, let him, let me know in the description anybody that's going to Nam or the comments. Uh, we can have a meet up. I'd love to meet you all in person. And so we're gonna film that. Um, and so in the meantime, I said, hit me with the track. Hit me with the live track. And so he goes, how about Stars and Stripes Forever, which Chet Atkins claims is barely playable for him. So for the as the glutton for punishment that I am, I'm going to do this. Obviously, there's 0% chance that I try to actually replicate anything that the great Chet Adkins is going to do. But nonetheless, I don't think I've ever seen this. I don't think I've ever seen this arranged for guitar. Um, I don't know, but here we go. Eric, this is for you. I'm so excited to meet you in person, my friend. Okay, so we're going to pull this up. We're going to make it full screen. Let's do it. Here's a tune that uh, I usually play when I want to get nervous. <laughs> <laughs> this is a tune written by John Philip Sousa, one of America's greatest composers. Okay, so let's just stop right there. You know, he's sitting alone with the guitar, talking about this is what he this is what he's going to play when he's going to get nervous, and he says, "I'm going to play a song by John Philip Sousa." So you're thinking huge marching bands. You know, you're thinking. You're thinking incredible arrangements, and it's just Chet. And uh, a boy up in the main that plays like I do arranged this for guitar. And uh, top. What did he just say? And uh, a boy up in the main that plays. A boy up in Maine. Plays like I do arranged this for. Who plays like I do arranged this for guitar? What an offhand compliment! I love it. Boy up in Maine arranged this for me on guitar. It plays like I do. <laughs> Love this guy. The guitar. And uh, taught, taught me how to play it. His name is uh, Guy Van Duzer. Guy Van Duzer taught me how to play it. We're going to have to look that up. How to play it. Sometimes I get through it. <laughs> Sometimes I get through it. There's a 
four chord, four chord. All right, so so we're in the key of E here, essentially. Okay. Now this this part. So we're laying into the four here. Does he have a drummer? just it's not just e sus to e it's like a like you're pushing the root up to f right as well so you're not just playing that playing the a over e like that to kind of get that sus four you're also pushing e up to f i think i think <laughs> I mean, see how hard he was concentrating there. Um, all right, Eric, that was for you. Uh, this is one that me personally, I would have no shot of even coming close to figuring what this was without sheet music. It's just true. Uh, I don't know if this is the original key. My gut feeling is that uh, the boy up in Maine, as he called it, um, arranged it in a way that you could use the open E and open A strings um, and work your way that way. That That's what would make sense to me. It'd be fascinating if it was actually in that original key. I doubt it. Um, so many cool key changes in there. So many cool little cascades that only Chet does like that clean. Um, and just his thumb pick and fingering and just they're so independent they're so independent yet connected like they're they're just every time i watch chet um i just i think that i think that no matter how many years i could practice i i, I don't know that i could ever do that in that way sure i haven't dedicated my life to that style uh, and that type of thing, but sweet Jesus, that's all I can say, um, and again, if Chet Atkins said that this is the one he plays to, you know, when he wants to feel nervous to make him sweat, what can I say, right, what can I say, that's it, ladies and gentlemen, 
Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you found this entertaining. Probably wasn't the most uh, enlightening or, or educational. But we have other videos for that. Please like, please subscribe. Uh, peruse the channel, if you will. Uh, and if you are looking for an online teacher, an online community, I would invite you to join GuitarGate. It's the first link in the description. Uh, and you get to pick a lot of these videos that come next. It's one of my thank you for my students that I made a whole page that you get to, you know, upload videos so you can pick the next one that comes next. Regardless of all that, regardless of all that, tell me, tell me in the comments. And this is a sincere question here. I hope people are watching till the end. This is always the test, right? You got to bring your voice down and make it sound nice and boring to see if people make it to the end. I need a title. I need a title for this series. The idea being that people like us, music people, guitar nerds, and I really don't want to restrict it to guitar playing because, like, how cool would it be to, you know, find out that that uh, some senator or or investment banker that runs some huge thing, uh, like what's in that, like Christian Bale played in that one, what uh, in that one movie, uh, like The Big Short, um, likes to play Slayer on drums and has a huge Dave Lombardo setup. I mean, how awesome would that be to go talk to them about that? Um, so what should the title be? What should the title of this series be? Like, like um, you know, My Life in Music or, uh, or, or, or Secret Musician or whatever it is. The point is, is that when you're going down YouTube, right, and people are scrolling down, it needs to be something that non-musicians as well are going to stop and think. The words have to not correlate immediately. So you see somebody like Eric's name. Okay, and and YouTube and the algorithm has all these things, whether it's political or whether it's science or or whatever it is that are connected to that name. Or if you have some other an athlete's name, but music isn't one of them. Guitar isn't one of them. Drums or or sousaphone, whatever they're into, isn't one of them. Right. So it's got to be it'd be ideal if you could find some type of title where where immediately there's an intrigue for both musicians and non-musicians because the musician's going to say, I didn't know that person played music. And the non-musician's going to say, I didn't know that person played music. Maybe it should be, I didn't know that person played music. Let me know. Cheers. <laughs>